next dimension. Hey guys, this is Anna Kavadu's all the way from down with my first impression of a new third person MMO shooter called Loadout. Now, as you can see, this game is very unique. And as you can see by the game, the graphics, it's not realistic. It's a cartoony game. And saying that, it's TF2. When I first saw this, I thought of TF2. And, you know, that's what most people would think. But it's much more than that. It's TF2 in the art style. But it's Quake when it comes to the fast-paced nature. This game is intense. You're always running around. It's really, really, really crazy stuff. The arena battles are even even crazier than what you're seeing on screen right now, and which kind of links in to the gameplay itself, being all the roadie runs and the third person element and stuff like that, being very Gears of war -y in my opinion. And the combination of all of these gives a very, very fluid gameplay and graphical representation of this game, which I absolutely adore. I've been playing this game for a couple of days, and they've racked like four hours already. And that might not seem much, but this is four hours of two days when I'm doing other stuff. This is a very addictive game, in my opinion. And they're saying, Undercover Dudes, the game might seem okay, the gameplay might be okay, but how are the weapons? That's really important. Now, weapon customization in this game is very unique. You can fully customize a gun. It's like you just get a couple stars. You get rifle, you get pulse, launch, and I can't, I forget the other one, beam, I believe it is. And such, you get all these, and then you can customize the barrel, the clip, the stock, the firing mode. You can customize absolutely everything. And you guys probably be thinking you have to pay for a lot of these stuff. Nothing. You don't have to pay for anything. All of these customization elements are unlocked from the very start. So it doesn't matter if you pay $100, you pay $0, you're going to be on the exact same field, the exact same playing field, which is absolutely fantastic. I show a little bit on screen, me just customizing a gun. I've got a default gun right now, and I can just choose whatever stuff I want. But the way this game makes their money is genius in my opinion. At the start, you only get one part that you can use for this gun. For example, let's say the full auto receiver, which you can turn your gun into a fully automatic assault rifle, whatever. You only get one of those, and the only, only way to get more is to play the game to rank up, and then you get them, you know, just periodically throughout whenever you rank up. Or to actually go and buy them with real money. Now you'd be thinking, is it like $1, like $10, like these really, really, really pay to win games? It's 10 cents to get this part. And literally, you have no advantage because you're just literally buying a part that everybody gets from the start. You might just want to use a part on two different guns. For example, I really like the slug attachment on my machine gun or sniper rifle. And I had to choose, would I want on my sniper rifle with this match, my machine gun, and sometimes I like to swap in mid-match and I have this really crappy attachment I really didn't want. Then I decided, yep, yeah, I'm just going to go and buy one. I'm just going to go and buy another one so I have it on both guns. It cost me practically 10 cents, 10, 15 cents, and now I've got it on both of my guns. There's no disadvantage to the other players because the other players have it. I just have it on both my guns which is really, really, really cool. That's a really smart way of making money. Now, the other way they're doing it is through cosmetics, and cosmetics are considerably more expensive. Five to ten dollars to get a really just simple piece of cosmetic for your player. But saying that, if you want to stand out in the crowd, that's what you can do. I won't be doing it for myself because I think it's just slightly overpriced, but it's a way to keep the game extremely, extremely fair. There's no pay to win element, and hopefully they can keep it like, like that way. Many game companies have gone down that road and said, oh, we'll keep it, you know, free to play. You know, it's all fair. You won't, you pay, you're just helping the company, you're just helping us, you're not, you know, getting a massive advantage and a lot of those companies have kind of backed down on their word. Hopefully Loadout will be a game that continues along this road and continues thriving and expanding more maps, more more parts, everything they could do to this game and have a very, very prosperous future and I say good luck to them. To you guys, I say to go download this game. Beta keys will be in the description below. Literally go to the site, you put your email address and you get sent one. You put it into Steam where you just go and activate um, products and stuff like that. Really simple, very fun game. Addictive in my opinion, so don't play it for too long guys. But nevertheless, it's still really, really fun. Bye for now, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Canada. Out.